Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to share some interesting facts about Whiptail Lizard. Keep watching and don't forget to click the bell icon. The Whiptail Lizard's evocative name reflects its uniquely long and slender tail which can be up to three times the length of this petite reptile's body. But with dozens of species spread throughout diverse habitats as north as the United States and deeper south into Latin America, each lizard's dimensions and adaptations are at least somewhat distinct. Four Incredible Whiptail Lizard Facts Number 1. As many as a third of whiptail species are completely female and reproduce through asexual reproduction. Number 2. Though they're almost entirely insectivorous, some whiptail species have been seen snacking on fruits in addition to meat. Number 3. As with many other lizard species, the sensitive forked tongues of the whiptail lizard can help them smell with a greater sense of clarity. Number 4. Whiptails are generally diurnal and are known to enter a state of brumation during the colder and darker months, although the frequency of this can vary depending on the exact species of whiptail lizard and its habitat. Scientific name. The whiptail lizards constitute a variety of different species covering a range of habitats, all of them belong to the family Tidae. And while the etymology behind this family name is uncertain, the names of the two primary genera underneath them are far more evocative. Aspidocilus and Nematophorus constitute the two largest classifications for whiptail lizards by splitting them into North American and South American species. Appearance With habitats that stretch from deserts to tropical West Indies islands, whiptail lizards can have distinctly different appearances. The giant spotted whiptail, endemic to Arizona, can reach a length of over a foot, while members of the desert grassland whiptail species may be as small as 2 inches. Colors can range from the yellow stripes and desert camouflage of the desert grassland whiptail to the mesmerizing combination of oceanic blues and greens that make up the Aruban whiptail's markings. The little striped whiptail can be primarily found in desert climes, but their long tails are still a vibrant azure. The vibrant colors of the Aruban whiptail only appear in males. A common adaptation in some whiptail species that helps extend the lifespan of baby and female whiptails by assuming the attention of predators. Regardless of the variations between them in terms of lifespan or habits, there are some consistencies between most or all whiptail species. Their tails are unusually long and are often even longer than their bodies. Their bodies tend to be lean, while their snouts are distinctly pointed. Their strong limbs and trim design makes them universally capable runners, and they all share a series of large vertical scales that are arranged into distinct rows. Behavior Though there's plenty to distinguish whiptail lizard species from one another, there are a few facts about their behavior that are widely shared. Whiptail lizards are typically diurnal, though their exact hunting and foraging habits are contingent on their environment. The Sonoran spotted Dwight whiptail tends to hunt early in the morning and late in the afternoon with a siesta during the hottest hours of the day, but whiptail species in more moderate climates will often compartmentalize all of their foragings into the height of the day. Burrows keep these lizards safe from predators, shelter them from extreme climate conditions, and offer them a place to safely lay their eggs and enter a state of brumation during the especially cold months. Whiptails possess an active personality and a seemingly boundless sense of energy. When they're active, they're always in movement, and even when they're basking in the sun, whiptail lizards fidget and seem as if they're taking in everything happening around them. Habitat There are over 150 different species of whiptail lizard though a large portion of the overall whiptail population can be found in the deserts of the southwest United States and western and central Mexico. The western whiptail and New Mexico whiptail have been extensively studied, but you will also find the stunning giant whiptail in the humid forests of Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. It's even been introduced into Florida, where it's adapted so well that it's considered a serious threat as an invasive species. Whiptail colors and habits often get more exotic as you head into South America. The Venezuelan blue rainbow lizard is a bizarre variant of the whiptail lizard that looks like it's been splashed with random paints, while the Paraguayan caiman lizard occupies dens near deeper bodies of water and is even known to enjoy swimming. Some whiptail species have even made it out to the Caribbean. The Aruban whiptail is Aruba's most populous lizard species, and the St. Lucia whiptail maintains a population of only about a thousand that are almost entirely concentrated on a pair of isolated islands. Diet Every living thing has to eat and the preferred diet and hunting habits of most whiptail lizards are pretty similar. Whiptail lizards are opportunistic insectivores that will pursue whatever small invertebrates they can find. Termites, grasshoppers, and beetles are common choices regardless of a particular species' habitat. 
and some may feed on more dangerous prey like scorpions as well. Some species of whiptail will supplement their diet with small amounts of fruit or vegetation, though this is rare. The Arizona whiptail is even known to occasionally eat small lizards. Whiptails are known for their kinetic energy, and that translates well into their habits as hunters. They'll often root through the foliage, sand, or fallen leaves in search of prey or shove their pointed noses into crevices using their taste and smell for identification of prey. But when they catch sight of larger prey, they can move like a flash. Many species use their jaws rather than their tongues to disable prey. Predators and Threats The whiptail's speed is a huge asset when hunting for a meal, but it can be life-saving when it comes to avoiding becoming a meal. The whiptails are never the smallest prey in their environment. Every species finds themselves prey to a veritable murderer's row of predators. Birds of prey like hawks and eagles are constantly on the lookout for movement from prey animals, and desert whiptails face mammalian predators ranging in size from foxes to coyotes. Even other reptiles are a threat to whiptails, which sometimes fall prey to larger lizards and snakes. The frantic energy of a whiptail lizard is in part about protecting itself from these threats. They'll stick to shrubs and other covers whenever possible and sprint across patches of open cover as quickly as possible. If spotted, a whiptail will try to find a burrow to hide in before it can be caught. But in the unfortunate instance that a whiptail is caught in the grip of a predator, they do have a final trick up their sleeve. Like other lizards, whiptails can regenerate their lost tails, an especially useful defense mechanism for a family of lizards named for their exceedingly long tails. Population while whiptail lizards are generally considered organisms of least concern in terms of conservation, the actual population numbers are dramatically different from one species to another. The desert grassland whiptail lizard, and a number of other species that defy casual identification between one another, are prominent throughout the United States and America, while the Aruban whiptail is the country's most popular lizard but also concentrated almost entirely on a single island. That was all about whiptail lizard. Do you like the facts we shared? Let us know on comment section. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.